Oh, hi neighbor. Come on this way. I bet many of you had a very long day and you know your shoes might be causing your achy back. And so I'm Dr. Eric Janowitz and I'm gonna to talk to you about ways to take care of your shoes to help your aching back. Well, here's the deal. We all stand on our feet and we all walk around. And did you know that you carry five times the amount of force? That's right, five times the amount of force on your feet than on your body every time that you're walking around. So those feet are taking a beating. So here's the deal. In selecting the right shoe, there's a couple of pro tips. The first thing that we see with thousands of patients is they either buy shoes that are either too big or too little. And so if your shoes are too big, that's gonna allow you to slide around, which can create an unstable foundation, can cause you to have things like falls and lose your balance. Not a good thing for your back, right? Second thing it does is that rubbing that can do can lead to blisters and pain that can occur just by the constant rubbing in your back. Now on the other extreme, if the shoe is too tight, then it can constrict the blood flow, it can pinch nerves, it can cause numbness, uh, tingling, it can cause rubbing or chafing in there and cause things like corns, and you don't wanna have any of those issues as well. Now the other common thing that we see is buying shoes that have poor arch supports. Now I get it, there's a fashion component and a practical component, but I have a real tip on how to make those fashionable shoes a little bit more practical. But here's what you want to realize is you want to buy shoes that have good arch supports. The most common thing that we see is an issue called flat feet or pronation. When you pronate your feet, the feet go inward and as they go inward that causes stress and tension to the what's called the plantar fascia which is in the bottom of your feet and that can cause something called plantar fasciitis. A lot of pain typically first step in the day can easily be corrected through chiropractic and proper footwear and adjustments. But what can occur is that can cause pressure then to the inside of your knee, can develop knee problems, which then can cause pelvic problems, and they can cause lower back problems, damaging the joints, ligaments, discs, and nerves in your spine. And now a foot problem is leading to a back problem. It's pretty crazy, it's all connected. So you wanna make sure that you have that. Now a really easy tip in doing that is to invest in a high quality orthotic. So either going to a podiatrist or going to a chiropractor that is trained to properly measure your feet, not just going and buying a store-brought shelf, uh, off-the-shelf foot thing. You wanna to go to someone that's measuring you that does this for a living. And so we recommend a program called A-Lines, and A-Lines are the only dynamic orthotic that I have found that have really good success in supporting you, not just in standing, but also when you're bending as well. Speaking of a couple shoes too, I know you might be looking for brands. I prefer as a men's dress shoe, I love Echoes. Uh, in the past I used to use rock ports and those are great and Echoes I find to be amazing. I just take the inside out and put my A-lines in there. Uh, the other thing I recommend in running shoes is you wanna just make sure that you're buying a brand name shoe. Realize that they put a lot of research and, and money in those and some shoes offer more support or less support. So if you're like an avid runner, go to your local running store and get information on that as well and invest in them. They might be a lot of money, but hey, your back and your feet and your knees and your hips, they're all worth it. Before I sign off, I also want you to realize that it might not be your shoes, it might actually be your feet, or it could be your knees, or it could be your pelvis. So a trained chiropractor can do techniques to actually adjust your feet, can adjust your knees and adjust your hips and adjust your lower back which can actually be the cause of the foot problem and not just the actual supportive shoe. So you gotta figure out where is the source of the problem occurring by, visiting a chiropractor in your area that can help you. So if these videos were supportive of you, if they helped you, then uh, please share them, uh, like them, subscribe, ring the bell, do whatever it takes to get this information out to the masses. Thank you. Can we do something really fast? As in like, don't cut? Is there any way we could do an intro of him almost doing like Fred Rogers, like taking off his shoes and stuff? And he's like, hi there. <laughs> That's so much. <laughs> what? I thought it was funny.
Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think it'd be hilarious. What, like Rod, like Rogers, like like. Uh, Fred Rogers. Yeah. It's Fred Rogers. Mister. Mister. Mr. Rogers. Yeah, Mister Rogers. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. We, 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 we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. It's in. On it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. 